Hello everyone, Summer 2009 Bora here um, with a new video, not, not a new series but a new video. Um, a lot of you who have watched my SimCity 3000 tutorial might be here because of this fantastic, well not so much new now but when it came out new game so much similar to, um, you might put it as a very complex version of SimCity, Cities XL. Um, the problem that I think a lot of people have with this game is it's very complex and hard to make a positive cash flow. So I'm going to show you a very nice little money trick. Um, it does take a bit of time, it's not a cheat, it doesn't involve using a cheat engine, although however you might be um, have to be prepared to use some of the, the in-game cheat to which is which is of course built into the game to set your money back to 500,000 if you end up running out but otherwise it should have worked fine you don't need cheat engine you don't need any downloads you just need the game itself um, and this will this is not a tutorial of how to build a nice city um, not by any means so don't take it as a tutorial I'm not going to be showing you an entire series of how to build a city on this game. I'm just going to be showing you this very nice trick to get you a very nice positive cash flow. Um, um, I must say at this point that if you are want to build a completely clean city, uh, you must turn back now because one thing you are going to have to sacrifice is a, a smallish, well, I say smallish, but an area of your city that it's going to become very heavily polluted indeed very very heavily air polluted noise polluted so you're going to need to um well you i suppose you could turn that into manufacturing and and heavy industry zone but yeah um you're going to have to sacrifice your, some of your air quality i'm afraid um there's just one of my cities up there so we're going to start a new city now when you're picking this you want something that's got a good fuel resource and has a lot of flat land right and an easy difficulty so you want lots of oil um flat surface this is harder because there's not so many uh, fertile areas in fact there's no fertile there's no water so that's not good holidays it doesn't matter you're not going to need this for your successful city um however you will need fertile areas and water to a small extent you'll definitely need um, water and you'll need lots of fuel um, that one's no good let's have a look and see what we can find well there certainly ones with plenty of oil on now, this one would be okay if it had some fertile areas also take into account your flat surface as well This one, the shattered coast, looks very good, but there's not a lot of flat coast, flat, flat surface to build on. Um, there's even less on the val three valleys. Okay, um, let's take that. Let's take that off and let's just see what we can find. Just scanning through. This does take some time. Uh, the lake on the plane wouldn't be bad because it's got uh, one of each. Rocky desert's quite hard. Obviously, you can use the filters. To, um, to help you pick. But so far, it, for me, it's the lake. One the peninsula, not bad. For Paris, there. Uh, some of these uh, are obviously real life uh, city flats uh, that sit real life cities are built on. That isn't bad. The old falls, plenty of fertile areas, which is probably what you're going to need, uh, given the nature of the city you want to build. A wooded plain again, not bad. That one's actually 
pretty much what we were looking for. So I'll go with that. I'll go with the far west because um, it's got two out of three oil, one out of three water and one out of three fertile areas and you do need water in fertile areas, holidays don't matter but you are going to need lots of oil, lots of fuel and what shall we name our city? Uh, something simple let's name it something wood um, I'm not good at thinking of city names. Uh, let's go K Wood. Your roads don't matter. Um, I'm English, so let's set the roads to English. Um, difficulty is 30%, transport's good, 50%. There's lots of flat surface, lots and lots of flat surface for the civilian. So, um, it's nice and easy for us. Okay, now here we are. We're at the start of our city, obviously. I just need to check my trades. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, obviously, the first thing you're going to establish, the first thing you need to establish, um, well, the first thing I would do is, is create yourself a save file. So, let's put in K-Wood. Oops, that's the wrong name. There we go, K-Wood. Um, and save. It's a funny looking auto save. Um... So to establish a fuel, if we move our view options thing out of the way. Go into utilities and go to fuel. Right. Right, these fuel areas, you need to pick one. Pick the most the most suitable will be in a corner of the city. Okay. So you need to think of this as your um this is going to be this area is going to be your um industrial zone so the first thing you need to do guys is just create an industrial zone just let's just create one in this corner here so oh i must also mention at this point you do need to start the game and unlock the game in expert mode to make sure all your buildings are unlocked Okay. Right. And next job is you're going to go and get some unskilled workers, higher density. Just build yourself about two blocks of unskilled workers. Build yourself um, some commerce, high density. One block of that will do. And get some lower density manufacturing. Uh, heavy rather, I should say. Heavy industry, first industries. Uh, lower density. Build that. Build about six blocks of them. Here. Um, and then the two most important things we do we need to make our city operate, of course. We need a utility center. So let's put one of them here and um, keep your uh, residents far far away from your industries as well long 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 way away okay i would keep it down to this road here this crossroad here as a, as a maximum for this for where this area is and i wouldn't go past this sort of tree here so i'd say this where i have the mouse is here would be about the maximum this corner here would be about the maximum um, I would leave this as a space because there is going to be a lot of pollution around here. Um, so we've got a bit of a negative cash flow at the minute, which isn't a problem. And now we do need the city hall. So you want the city services. Place it just about 
Why is that utility sent to showing up as got no road? Oh, it's no city hall. Okay, and set your simulation to uh, forward five. Okay, and your cash flows could start turning into a positive. I think we're going to need more workers, so build us build yourself another block of unskilled workers. And you want to make this. You want to, this is just starting your city, of course. So you know you don't want to take up too much room, but you want to um, make it as successful as you can. You don't need to put in any uh, services as such yet. So um, at this stage, looking at this, I would build some some small office, low density office area. Just to get the city's cash flow going very, very, very nicely. And I'm going to, this video is going to skip forward now. I'm going to stop the recording here. And what I'm going to ask you to do next is a bit bizarre, but it's all part of the plan. What I want you to do, who are watching this, is leave your city, go off, do another job that you need to do, go out, have a meal, something like that. Just go out, leave your computer running. Won't overheat, shouldn't overheat, and all that, especially if it's got a cooling mat. Leave it in a cool environment. So leave your computer running for about, I don't know, an hour, maybe two hours with a positive cash flow of about plus 5,000, so a good one. And come back to it in an hour when you have about 10 million in the bank saved up, and we can, and uh, you'll be able to then start off your, uh, start off your plan for, um, making lots and lots of money um, it's going to cost about 10 million to do so you're going to have an extremely negative you're going to have a minus 300,000 cash flow at one point so it's very very important to save up lots of money so um, yeah I'm going to skip forward now and um, yeah when Kate watches the video we'll go on to part two which is the next step Hello everyone, so yeah we've jumped forward now obviously into the uh, second part of the video, I've left this game for a while, you see I've got 6.7 million um, in my cash, um, at this point you want to pause your game, I've set it a bit lower for the cash because I am prepared to use the cheat, um, the cheats, the in game cheats and all that to uh, cheat as necessary to make sure I'm successful with building what I need to build okay at this point you want to check your, your fertile areas there isn't going to be many on this map but the ones because of that because the food industry is very hard to build you want to um, you want to leave those areas clear so here we have a nice flat zone so I'm going to extend this highway out and obviously the map you choose you know or the area of the map you choose to use is going to be influential um, put this here now here's a tip, uh, when you're building obviously high density you want lots and lots of bigger roads because you want good freight supplies to your high density buildings in um, this uh, in this game. So it's, it is like running a business. Now what you're going to do, this is the step for the trick, you want to build, you're going to get your high density unskilled workers option, you're going to build four squares 
transfer them. You're skilled, you're going to build 16 squares, high density squares, skilled. So there's two there. Um, just think where we can put the highway. Like that. Um, obviously, leave some space for the uh, leave some space here for the services at either side of the road. Um, so obviously, back into the houses. Um, there's another six there. Um, just thinking where my industry is going to be. I don't want to build too far this side. Um, and obviously, you've got to be patient, you've got to take your time, you've got to plan your city, you know. It's common sense about where you're going to build things and all that. So, at this point, I'm going to put in another highway going up here. Again, leaving a space for city services and parks, etc. Um, we have eight skilled workers, so. We want another good, uh, another six there, so that's six and six is twelve, two is fourteen, so we need another two for skilled workers. Um, Sixteen for executives as well. It does cover a large area, this job. But this is all part of the plan. Obviously, I want to check my areas for oil as well, because primarily we'll need a lot of oil. And we might have a problem with a farming area down here, but there's a big area of oil there. Um, a big area of oil over here, which is good. Again, farming. There's going to be a lot of farming conflicts in this city later on, I imagine, but as I won't be uh, going on with the tutorial of how to build a city, it doesn't really matter. Um, so again, I want to keep my housing really out of this out of this area entirely and build further this way. And there's some mountains there which could prove a problem. And the trick of this is called electricity supply. That's 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 the trick. It's become an extreme electricity supply city, which is what we're going to do in this video. Um, we need another fourteen for executives. So there's another eight, and two is. Uh, oh, sorry, we only need a twelve. For executives, so we've got four there, um, eight there. That's twelve. So we need another four areas for executives. And finally, we need six areas for elite workers. It's two. There's another four. Okay, the next thing you're going to build, it's about the negative cash flow, is all the supporting services. So we're going to put in some retail now.
make it high density just to make sure it reaches out to people. Um, the next thing is we're going to put in forget this area you've already built so that doesn't that's irrelevant you know you can even demolish that if you want next thing you want to put in is all your city services so your healthcare stick to small should be enough make sure there's a good all-round service same for your education stick to small you don't need to go massive with it for now you can always add it in later security again go with about medium build somewhere in the middle that should be enough simply a fire about medium protection okay and now you need to pay attention very carefully to this uh, this next bit you're going to build four oil fields So we're going to put one in here. They only don't need to be too big. Get as much oil out of it as you can. Doesn't matter what shape they are, you can mold your industry around that. Too large an area that. Try and keep them straight, but you know. Okay, and that's going to unlock your oil refinery. Um, just okay. Make sure it's all connected up with rods, obviously, guys. Don't uh, don't forget that. Your roads are important. Improves the city's oil production. Put one of these in. Yeah. Um, you're going to want three dump yards. I know it's a lot to build. Like I said, you'll need a lot of money for it. They don't have to be any particular size. That'll do as long as it's all joined up. And you're going to build 12 low density offices. It's a long list. There's a reason for that. Put them far away from your uh, polluting areas as well. Just as if with your residences. That's uh, four, four, five, six, and double it. Okay. And finally, and your, neg your cash flow is going to be very negative after all this. Oh, that's, that's very handy for us. You need to build one water tower. Now you're going to run your simulation and let most of your citizens move in, or as many of your citizens and citizens as you can move in. The unemployment rate is going to be absolutely rife, but that doesn't matter. They will handle it. You've got plenty of money to handle it. You know, the uh, as you can see, our population is rising, and so is our cash flow. It's coming out of its massive debt, but we'll get that out ourselves pretty soon. 
Yeah. It might be wise at this point to build um, some high tech industry. The best place to build them is usually somewhere near the offices because offices benefit and they are non polluters. Not too much, but that usually increases your cash flow quite substantially. And I think looking at this population, about 20,000, we are ready to go ahead with the new operation. Okay. Now, this is a clever bit. This is where you've got to be a bit sort of um, smart, if you like. Okay, we're going to have a road connection running out from here and run it all the way along to the other to the corner of the sea or not as it would seem because it just seems to want to connect up so we'll run one in here just run simulations. There we go. And that's just going to take the um, pressure off your uh, 40 cars a minute board. Hopefully. Again, run simulation. I'm just trying to take the uh, pressure off this, this silly road here that seems to just want to connect to uh, the next city constantly. That's yeah, still doing it, so I'm going to build it further up. I'm going to cut back in time. And connect it up there. Okay, now here's a clever bit, like I said, you're going to want to get your power plant selection. You're going to build small electricities. Four of them. That's going to unlock your medium. Remember, four of them. That's going to unlock your large. Okay, you want to build about 13 of these. and that's going to do nothing for now so you run simulation your cash flow is going to drop massively however there is a big solution to this coming right up like I said you are going to have to sacrifice pollution you're going to uh, go into Omnicorp trade You've got lots of electricity, so you're going to trade in uh, most of your electricity for now. Um, get it down to its 20 tokens, like that. Stop your game. And these, the specialised education and the research, build them both. Run your simulation. Wait till they've employed, they've both employed the maximum amount of workers, which they have, and which they have. Okay, like I said, you're going to lose a lot of money, so you need to start off with a lot. I'm going to probably going to have to use a cheat here. Go back into Omnicorp, trade in all of your electricity, run simulation. Okay, we've still got a negative cash flow, which is no problem for us, because we've got the money to get out of it. There's your pollution, the red that's coming up there. Let's so just build a few more large power plants. That's all you need to do. Go back into your trade. Go on the cop. 
again trade in all your electricity as you can see we are in the negatives so I'm going to go into the cheat so it said 10 million you see now 10 million would cover it uh, that's not it go to cheat set our cash back to 500,000 pause the game um, This is really annoying me now. I'm going to have to build a fast lane into the city here. Because that shouldn't be happening. Okay. It's still doing it. I can't believe that. Okay, down here we'll do. Um, and obviously you can do this as much as your fuel resources will allow. Go into electricity. Again, build large electricity plants. So we can manage, run simulation, back into your trade, same city again, as you can see by this we have a massive, well not massive cash flow at the minute, but it's 43,000 up which is good, very very good, and if I just put in a road if I just set my cash back quickly just before I finish the video off just set the cash back up there and just give myself another big road build more power plants Won't fit on there, that's fine. So I'll just build, build some medium ones. Plenty of these. Obviously you don't want to build too many power plants because if you do, then your fuel resources will run out very, very fast. Sell all this in. Sell all our part on the car. And as you can see, and I'm not going to go any further, but um, I have a plus 67,000 cash flow. So that does conclude the video for the uh, for this uh, nice little money trick. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe. Check out some more of my videos and all, 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 the, rat and all and the rest of it. Um, obviously... You can just go as far as you want with this, um, you know, or completely, you know, berserk if you want, if you like. But always remember to check your fuel as well and make sure you, that you don't go over the limit. But yeah, you've got plenty of cash flow here. I managed to build a city with um, plus 400,000 cash flow. I went out for a couple of hours. Left it, came back and I had 250, 300 million saved up in the bank. Um, just by doing that, just by doing that technique I just showed you there. So thank you all for watching and uh, like I said, subscribe if you like and comment any questions. You know, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, take care and I hope to see you in some more of my videos.